What's good, y'all? It's your boy Chris here, and in tonight's quick video, we're just going to go over how to connect your uh, Postgres, right, your Postgres SQL database to the VS Code, the Visual Studio Code uh, platform. So what we're going to do here, what we got open right now is the, um, the PG Admin program. It's free. You can download it from Postgres website. However, let's say you want to use the code, you want to do queries, everything on VS Code instead. So how to do that, what you want to do, you want to make sure that your database is up and running on your local host machine. So you want to go ahead and open VS Code, wait for this to open up, and then you want to go to your extensions. This is where you can download all of your extensions. If you don't see this icon here, you can scroll down to the uh, cogwheel, go to extensions, and it'll bring you to the same spot. So in order to get this, um, get Postgres running here, what you want to do is you want to type post, press SQL, right? Now there are three tools that I uh, recommend downloading just to, just to be on the safe side. The first one is going to be the Postgres SQL language server. Then you have the Postgres SQL where it says by Microsoft. And then you have this Postgres management tool. So I'm going to download this one. Then I'm going to download the Postgres SQL by Microsoft. And then I will download Postgres SQL language server wait for all of these to finish downloading and uh yeah so we'll just wait and wait uh we have the language server uh being installed so now that we have everything installed we're going to exit out of the program right i like to exit out of the program just to be on the safe side make sure everything is downloaded and it's installed correctly we're going to reopen vs code okay and then you're going to get the elephant, um, the Postgres icon with the um, with the uh, SQL database in the background. This is the Postgres SQL Explorer. You want to click that. And then at the top, you want to hit the plus button. And then you go ahead and you type the host name of your database. Since we're running it on the local machine, instead of typing it's local host, I actually like to just type the IP address of the local host machine. All right. Now we have the Post SQL user to authenticate. What is the user that you're using? You got to make sure you, you know that, whether it's root, minus is Postgres. And then the password, make sure you enter your password. The port that is running on, minus is 5432. Standard connection. And then now it's going to show, you know, it's going to give you the list of databases. I'll just say show all databases, right? And then the name. At the end, you're going to get your IP back. You can have a name, so I'm going to say Postgres server. So I'm going to say Postgres SQL server. Boom. Now you're going to see your Postgres SQL server at the corner here with your databases. Uh, I am using the DVD rental. So let's go ahead and let's uh, let's just do a query just to make sure things are working correctly. So if we right click on the database uh, that we have, click new query. We can go ahead and say select all from customer we have a customer table here right click and run query boom so it runs your query right to the side you can position it if you wanted to so you can go at the bottom just a cleaner look you have your table right so yeah this is pretty much it um you can also if you want to have a uh if you have a query that is that already exists. Sorry about that. Let's go here. Boom. Uh, we can say let's open a query that we have here. Let's go to open file, and then let's go to documents. I have a few documents here. We're gonna go to SQL queries. Open it. So here's a simple SQL query. Uh, well, not simple, but uh, a query that I've added here. It's in doing some installation down here at the bottom. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, but you can just right click and then um, run SQL query. 
you're going to get something that say like no debate, no database selected, uh, something of that matter, right? So just make sure that um, the DVD rental is selected here and then run the NoSQL, all of that. Run the, uh, run the query. So instead of saying run my SQL, just hit, just highlight everything and then run query. Uh, you, you may see run MySQL query. This is not a MySQL um, database that we're using. This is a Postgres. So I'm gonna highlight everything, hit run query instead. And this is, uh, this is it. So we have this up and running and it is good to go. If we delete the, here we can get the table, everything, everything here. So this is how you, uh, this is how you run everything on VS Code. You know, it's very simple. Uh, just follow the steps I've shown you here and you will be good to go. All right, you all have a good one and see you later.